my favorite things to do in my practice is to help men and women with their sex drive. And um, I developed this passion for passion for a really personal reason, actually. I lost my own sex drive when I was only 28 years old. I was only married for three years, and it was absolutely the most awful thing that could happen, really, because it had been a really important part of our lives. And it really killed our intimacy in a big way. And the worst thing of all, I think, was that I felt incredibly alone because even though I was an OBGYN, I had no idea how to fix my own problem. No one had taught me. I, no one was even talking about it. And, and that was really painful and, and difficult. And it wasn't until I found anti-aging medicine and integrative medicine, bioidentical hormones, nutritional changes, lifestyle changes, that I was really able to put together what gave women their sex drive what took it away and how to bring it back and was able to bring it back for myself, restore the intimacy in my marriage going on 20 years this summer, yay. Um, and, and really, in my opinion, this is one of the most important things that you can learn to bring back for your patients, to bring your patients' passion back. This is an epidemic problem with women at least 43% of women, and this is not even necessarily menopausal women, have issues with their sex drive, and when they get into menopause, it climbs into the 80% range. Almost 90% of women at some point will have a problem with their sex life. So it is essential that you learn to take care of these women, that you learn to address these women, that you give these women hope, because so many of our colleagues out there are telling them that there's nothing you can do, this is just the way that it is. But this is not the way that it is. Women deserve to have a good sex drive, to have intimacy in their relationships, and to have passion back in their lives. And you can bring it to them. And that's what I want for you to bring to your patients. And that's why I'm so excited to talk to you about this today. So this is a system I developed called HARSH. Uh, I don't know if you can hear me if I walk away from this. Probably, is this just as good? Yeah, I think you can hear me pretty well. Okay, good, because I like to walk a little. So, no, not as good? <laughs> not as good, okay, thanks. I'll stay tethered. All right, so HARSH. Because losing your sex drive is HARSH. I know, I've been there. <laughs> so HARSH stands for, as you see, habits, attitude, relationships, stress and emotional issues, and hormones. Because when a woman loses her sex drive, it's not usually one thing. It's not usually one smoking gun. And for those of, how many of you have given a testosterone to a woman for her sex drive by a show of hands? Okay, so a fair amount of you in the room. And how many of you would, would, uh, would say that you've seen times where that hasn't always been enough and that hasn't worked? Just as many hands, basically, yeah. So, you know, I think when you come into anti-aging medicine, bioidentical hormones, you think, wow, this is going to be easy. This is going to be slam dunk. This is going to be great. I'm going to give her testosterone and boom, all done. But no such luck, unfortunately. <laughs> so you've got to learn about a lot of other things because women's sex drive is multifactorial. So a lot of this is, a lot of this is um, actually some, is some of this is basic. Um, I'm, not, I'm not necessarily going to be quoting science to you during this lecture at all. And this is actually excerpted from a program that I do with women called Rewire Your Desire. And I do this as an online program. And if you go to rewiredesire.com, you can actually get three free videos that I, that I give um, for women, really aimed at, at consumer level women. But I also discuss this harsh method and I discuss hormones there. So you may be interested, your patients may be interested. And this is the framework for that program, which is actually a six week program like a boot camp to help women get their sex drive back. So in terms of habits, I talk about the pro libido lifestyle. Of course, nutrition, exercise, stress management, those are the foundation at the heart of everything that we do. I tell my patients every day, 50% of what I can give you is by giving you hormones, but the other 50% is by you going home and listening to everything I coach you and tell you to do and to go home and do it. Because how many of you have seen patients that you put them on hormones, they don't follow your lifestyle recommendations and they fall flat. It doesn't work, right, by a show of hands, yeah. Absolutely, you see that all the time. So they've got to follow the lifestyle 
recommendations. But really what it really boils down to that we need to really understand about changing patients' habits is that a habit is just a habit, right? It's